What's going on everybody? It's Carlos here from Premier Reviewer and I've been doing a lot of audio gear lately so I've uh, I found something that I think is in more in the range of more people's budget uh, and that is this microphone right here which is the Knox Podcaster microphone. Um, this is a I don't want to call it a knockoff, but anyone who knows of the AT2100 and the other one that they made is the 2005 version. This is pretty much identical. It's more identical to the actual 2005 version. Um, right now, what you're going to be hearing is my lav mic. So I use a Rode Link lav mic, which will be a good comparison between what's the difference between a, a mic like this and a more of a podcaster type type mic and the reason why i wanted to talk about this mic is because it's only around 40 dollars. now the at the audio tank the at 2100 and the 205 or the 2005 they average between 60 to 80 dollars uh give or take on amazon links will be down in the description anyways so in the box you get a uh, one usb cord which is one of the reasons why i like this because it's usb and XLR, which you also get an XLR cord. You also get the microphone itself, and you get a mini tripod, um, which I am not using because the thing with these mics is the closer you get to the actual microphone, um, the better it sounds. So this is meant to be talked right into the microphone so that you're not, um, like you could hear a difference in if I'm like this, unless you have a compressor of some sort, you really want to be nice and tight on this microphone so that you get the rich boom of your your voice. Um, again, this is a forty dollar mic. The specs on this is it's pretty simple, and that's another reason why I like this because it's a dynamic cardio mic, which is USB and XLR, like I said before. So the difference between the USB and XLR is not a huge difference. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you got to set of headphones to listen to the difference um we will show you the difference between the usb right now plugged into the usb um on my macbook pro and then i will plug it into my zoom h4m pro uh which xlr so you can hear the the difference um but for right now i i'm just really <laughs> i gotta tell you i'm really excited for the overall build quality of it you have your you have your XLR output as well as your USB output, a volume control, and a headphone jack. Now, with the headphone jack, as long as you're using the USB version of it, connected to your computer, laptop, whatever, you can use it to monitor, but you lose that functionality when you connect it to XLR. So in that case, you like I would connect my headphones to my audio interface, a recorder, whatever it is that you're going to be using uh, to get the sound out. That's what you would use for that. Um, this mic is just a really well built mic. Um, it has an on and off switch. Uh, now again, links to everything you see right here will be down in the description. I have it on a kind of generic regular mic stand uh, with this. Um, uh, again, it's it's a pop filter built in. Um, I don't know how well this is actually doing as far as a pop filter, but I have been using this for a few months now. This is something I use when I'm on the go. I think it's a perfect mic for that. The sound quality is unbelievable. I won't be doing any sound treatment to this. What you hear is going to be all the raw audio, but yeah, but let's go back to my lav mic and you can start hearing the difference. Um, with the live mic, yes, you hear me really well, but you're also going to hear a lot more of the room, um, which, you know, it's one of those things that you, that's the difference between each microphone. Um, again, for the price of this microphone, let's click right back to the actual Knox microphone. Um, yeah, the sound just comes out really crispy, really nice. Uh, you're not going to have to uh, do too much in post-processing. Um, especially if you're just going to use this, let's say you're going to use this for Skype calls or any kind of, um, again, let me move this up a little closer to me. Um, if you're going to use this in like Google Hangouts or stuff like that, I think this works 
perfect. Again, I would actually use this to podcast because the sound that comes out of this is exactly the same as the AT2100. Uh, and there are professionals who use the AT2100 as their go-to mics. Um, this That mic made a huge splash a few years ago, and, and it went from a $30 mic to almost a $100 mic because the demand was so high for it. Um, other companies like this decided to step in, get pretty much exactly the same mic. Uh, overall, it's the same. It's almost the same exact build quality, but from a brand called Knox. Again, on the box, it says a lifetime warranty. How accurate that is, I don't know. I can't tell you. There's not a lot of information that comes inside the box. So now we actually have it plugged into my Zoom H4n. As you see right here, it's plugged in. And uh, now that what you're hearing is the actual XLR version of the microphone. Again, I think it's gonna sound a little bit more cleaner. You have less of the digital noise. Maybe my voice will sound a little bit richer, but um, this is what it sounds like with the actual XLR. So you can make up your mind. Regardless, the fact that you have uh, two mics in one it's a huge, huge bonus. So, you know, if you want to just plug and play, you have the USB capability. And if you want to actually sound a little bit more professional, get a little bit more richer and get the most out of the mic, throw in that XLR and you plug it in. So this is the XLR version. Uh, what you're hearing, hopefully uh, it's coming out as good as I've heard it in the past. So um, that's that's it. You know, I want you to hear the sound because I think that for a budget microphone, if you're just getting started in, in YouTube and you want to make some good quality videos, voiceovers, I would definitely recommend a mic like this for voiceovers. Better than a, um, everybody's favorite microphone, which is the Yeti, the Blue Yeti, the Snowball. All those are good microphones, but this to me has a much warmer sound to it, which at the end of the day makes... All the difference when it comes to how you know if you're going to start a podcast or or just it just sounds a little bit more professional for me you're not going to get all the handling noise you know the reason why i have it on the stand so again because you want to talk right up on it and um, that's about it guys this is, doesn't need to be a fancy review about anything it sounds really good i've been using it for a while i've gotten compliments on it um if i've ever made I've had some conference calls with people and used it. I just have a, a I just think it's a really good microphone um, for the price. And uh, hopefully you guys think so too. If you guys are looking for a mic, I'll leave links to this in the description. And like I always say guys, until next time, I'll see you around.